Okay, I took apart this project um, just after I built it because I need the parts for something else. So everything's going to be done using pictures and an explanation. Um, here we have all the parts that are needed, uh, not including the wood or the cell phone. I forgot to put them in the picture, but obviously um, things like the little PC board and the, the mirror and the, the laser pointer and all the little um, ICs and stuff are in the picture. And um, those are pan head screws. They help. Uh, to suspend the, the mirror and the PC board so they can be adjusted to shoot at each other perfectly fine. Um, everybody needs an old cell phone for this project and it should be the one with the hard keypad that click, not the screens. And obviously I went to the dollar store and bought a, a one dollar laser pointer and I used the, the button out of it as well for the project. Um, if you want to know how to assemble this uh, it's actually good to watch the other video I made called how to really build a laser pointer security system and explains how to take apart your laser pointer as well as how to assemble the mirror onto a base of some sort. I also used um, what we call ISO <laughs> opto isolators. That's the three little pin um, chips on the left hand side and they separate the electronics in the cell phone from the electronics in the project so that the wiring and the voltages don't uh, fight each other and that's obviously a PIC 12F675 chip and you could use any uh, microchip chip if you wanted. I like using these little um, breadboards because there's no etching involved and it makes um, for an easy project. Um, every cell phone is a little different. This one right here has um, only four screws for me to get into it and to um, take it apart down to the point where I can reach the keypad which I was after so I could push or cut the buttons out. The little white things were, or the white pad was the button, and I cut out three of them. And you can see a better picture here where I cut them out. And I was after the seven and the end button, as well as um, the camera button, in order to um, use this project, this um, cell phone for my project. And the idea was to, um, you know, you pretty much have to sit down with your own cell phone and keystroke through and find out what it takes to make the camera work and a speed dial to uh, give you a call and every phone is a little different like I said but um, reassemble the whole thing back together and I kept the little pads on the back side of my cell phone so I could reassemble it if I didn't want the project afterwards. Use really fine wire for that project. Um, this is from a parallel printer cable probably and the wire is like a 30 gauge or something like that so it's really easy to work with it's really fine and that's what the project looked like when it was finished um, huh, cellophane tape included and um, this is what I call the um, the key stroking sequence and basically like I said um, my cell phone basically I had to hit the end button twice to make the cell phone go on and then the uh, the camera button once to turn on the camera and a second time to take the picture and then a, an end button to stop that and then a speed dial 7 to make a phone call and then finally an end button and every phone is a little different so you might play around with yours and see what it takes to make yours work because um, obviously you're going to have to wire up to it here's a schematics and you want to find out which buttons you're going to wire onto before you take your cell phone apart um, this here is assembler and that's the programming for that little black chip with eight legs and there's about 100 instructions maybe, lines of instruction. Obviously everything on the right hand side is a remark and it just um, explains what the line did. But um, if you have questions, give me um, a comment. Thanks for watching.